is a very, very important motion. Mr. Speaker, we are all in our various home yesterday when we had what happened in Abuja yet. I'm sure all of us here are very disturbing on the security situation in our dear country today. Mr. Speaker, honorable colleague, one of our home, a police officer who has risen to the position of DCP, Deputy Commissioner of Police, was killed in that circumstance yesterday, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, this issue has come before us time with that number in this house. I think it's high time for us to take a conscious decision to address this security challenge we have in our dear country. Mr. Speaker, the agitations of these people, critically, Mr. Speaker, we've got to look at it. Because if you have an order of the court that grants a leader to exercise or to enjoy some freedom, and the man is still kept in that place, Mr. Speaker, it's not good for us. As lawmakers, we should do what is right. We should support what is right. If the man has been granted bail, Mr. Speaker, we need to prevail. This has need to prevail so that we can avert the reoccurrence of what happened yesterday. Because similar things happened about two weeks back, and we all witnessed it. Mr. Speaker, honorable colleagues, I want to suggest that one, the man that has been granted pay, their leader, we should do all within our, our power to ensure that the man is released. Two, dialogue in the circumstances, Mr. Speaker, I think is ideal. To also find a way to engage these people and talk to them. Because if we approach this issue the way we are going, we have too many, too many groups that this nation is dealing with in terms of security. We have the Boko Haram, we have the agitations of the people in Niger Delta, we have this group that is coming up, and all is not good for this nation. Mr. Speaker, honorable colleagues, with what is happening now, Investors will be scared if we don't leave this issue on the board. Investors that are willing to come and invest in this country, observing what is going on in Nigeria, where people are being killed on daily basis, property worth of millions are being burned on daily basis, is not good for the image of this country. Mr. Speaker, I think it's the right time for us to take the right decision so that we can put this issue behind us and allow peace to reign within us in this country. So arise and I so support this motion and this motion is standing. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, for allowing me to speak.